through here. I'm Jerry. So this morning I am transplanting dill. So um, as you all know if you watch my films is that I have an issue with dill. But this morning I decided that I was going to transplant these little ones since I do have issues with them and kind of get them into some four inches pretty quick. So I already started on my seedlings but now they're big enough. You know they're about this big and uh, I'm going to put them in some four inches and see how they go. As you can see they're, they're a good size and so I'm going to put them in some four inches. I've popped them out. There's not anything right here that they're laying on, so we're good on that. There is a, a like, something starting over here a little bit, but nothing to worry with. So, I, as you can see, they are a good size, and we will be transplanting them into four inches. And I use dill for my bouquets because it smells so good. It mixed with basil. I love the smell of it. I put it on my desk so I can get a whiff of it every day. It's an amazing smell. So that's why it's important for me to grow dill. Um, I also use it in recipes, but my main source for dill is to be put in the bouquets. In the process, I used my sterilization technique. Um, my daughter was here and she asked me what I was doing. And just so you know, I've used non-sterilized soil before, um, seedling soil, and I lost many, many plants doing that. And so it may not be what everybody uses, but that is my technique because I get the most out of it. So I definitely sterilize all of my seedling starter soil. Well, today at lunch, I decided that we needed more sunflowers. So I pulled some sunflower seeds that I made last year or harvested, and we'll see how they do. I think they'll do good. We'll see. The funny thing is, y'all, is right before she went to lunch, I mentioned that we needed some more flowers. No, I didn't mention that. We need to get a lot more flowers in, I'm thinking. And I'm thinking about doing the microgreens, so can't go wrong with the sun, the mam, mam and sunflowers because then they give us our, our sunflower seeds and we'll know they're organic and where they came from and we'll be able to do really good uh, microgreens with You know, them. you change some of the words. It's unbelievable. Organic. Change it. it no more O. From now on, we pronounce Rannic. it er, er, <laughs> Organic. Yeah, have y'all ever had the Rannic stuff? That <laughs> stuff. We're making good. some Rannic. Change it. We're in Texas. We're allowed to change ah. words and well, I add mean, I extra may not be herb. certified organic, but I, we're your organic. Oh so. man, I don't know how many. Yeah. You know what? If it if may, being organic meant I had to wear like a suit, you know, it's, it's how much that, closer can we get? It's Come unfortunate, on. I should say. It's unfortunate that to be considered organic, you have to have a piece of paper that says you are. Which I understand because everybody would say it then. 
and uh, just to know, make a buck, I, I, just yeah, to make yeah, a freaking yeah. buck. So I guess yeah. I could take that back. I guess I do understand it. Yeah, I understand it. Sometimes if I was to out. use something, our stuff's really good, and but it is organic. It's, un, it's unfortunate it for the organic. ones who are truly organic who just don't have a piece of paper telling saying that they're uh, organic yet. But you, you know have to what? do it for three years. You know, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing that people get those little thingies and Two all that. Two years, the third year, you can you start know, working on it. You know, we're already on a second. A bee, a bee, a bee. He's just cruising around, dude. It's a yellow jacket. He was cool. You know what the thing is? That tree right there is blooming, and everybody's showing up. See where our chickens hang out, y'all? They love this tree. This tree is like the tree of life. There's bees. There's everything showing up right now. Uh, I was just telling Holly we needed to get the um you know what's those what's those damn little bird things hummingbird feeder filled up uh and get everybody in here the more i believe that the more flowers we have within our garden the more stuff it'll visit us you should have heard in my office this morning i had the window open and the birds were so pretty well you don't hear much stuff out here see here how quiet it is but the, i did look ah! He's by me. <laughs> He's not by you, dude. He's cruising around. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Drew, get Where, him. Where's he at, dude? Right there. He's okay. Once, get out of here, bro. I'm going to end up having to kill you. He's gone. He hurt my hat. It is what... <laughs> what are you planting there? Same thing? These are red sunflowers. Oh, they're really cool. pretty ones. I'm not getting them. I, mean, I don't know their their real name. They're like Indian paintbrush or something. They're really pretty. Is it really Indian paintbrush? Or is that just the color? You just said that shit, didn't you? No, that's Because you know I love it. It's called it, Indian it? paintbrush. It, it is a color. Oh, that's okay. okay. Indian paintbrush. Well, down in Texas here. Oh, you mean the flower itself. I love that yeah, flower. No. You know I do. I don't know why I like that. I think there actually is colors though. I got. I like a flower that's got even got face. a really weird name to it. And, you know, whatever. I gotta go start the water again. The 20 minutes of drip. I gotta go get it set up. Como se llama? Hey, happy Cinco de Mayo. Is it coming up? It was yesterday. Was it really? Yeah. So everybody was talking about it yesterday. Uh. The fifth. Was it of May. really? Today's the sixth of May. Oh well, happy. Uh, Sixth of May. Yeah, Session planning. So today I am six. Today I am succession planning zinnias, and then I am actually filling in flowers that are in the yard on the beds that were more of a winter beds. Um, so I'm going to be putting in different stuff into those beds to fill in the little empty spots to make sure that we have full beds in our yard so that they're pretty and the neighbors can be like, "Wow, that'd be nice."
shark rack camper. Be going soon. Be working on this soon too, y'all. Some volunteer potatoes. <coughs> Mama's making holes. Taking names. This area, this I know. property, there's something up with it. It's like everything washed down over time and has landed here after the last 40 years. You can see the humps. This is, look at this, for Texas, this is amazing. And just to, like for information for the people who want to know about this fabric, we use, it's the non-woven, right? We use the non-woven to yes. let the water go so through. So we want the water to go through so that all the soil around it has moisture. And believe me, you can see now the difference. Weeds? No weeds. Yeah, we gotta pick our tomatoes every maybe one time, y'all. Tomatoes take over, they cover up the the weeds give up, put it that way. But you can see the difference. And even this is the non-woven. People are like, oh, I don't like the weeds in it. There's no weeds in it. You gotta always work on your garden. You always you right, Mama, don't you agree? She can't hear a word I'm saying. Good soil, good soil. Okay, I gotta get to work. Don't forget everybody, I'm Drew with the farm. Hey, watch out, we're gonna do a fence, show you how to do it. If just in case you got any questions, love to hear from you. So here I am at the field and I've already mowed it. So now I'm going to start with some cleanup. And right down by the tree down there, well, let me see, right down by the tree down there is a little pile of woods that I'm going to get cleaned up. And um, I'm going to cheat because I got to take all this up there. All of that up there. And so we're going to take the mower and rot it. I know I'm on a time lapse, but I'm working it really slow because here in Texas we have lots of snakes and it is that time of the year. So I'm working from the outside and then working my way in really slow and each move being as methodical as I can to watch for snakes because it's very dangerous here. And um, rattlesnakes are, well, I don't know if they're common, but I've seen them. So I try to be very, very careful. So let's get back to it. You boys coming to help me? I'm coming to get the chair to sit down. I'm trying to hurry so Jerry don't get the chair. Right. Man, I'm stinky as fucking fire. That's what I love it. Well, I'm going to take my second load over. It's a slow process because I'm scared of the snakes, to be honest. So I'm trying to be really oh, slow. Yeah. yeah, I'm only on my second um, load. I got one more load to go, but. I'm making progress. It's just slow because I'm scared of snakes. Do you know it was years ago that uh, Bobby was bit on this land by the rattlesnake? Really? Yeah, he bit right through his boot. My cousin, 
and that's why I wear these out here. Just to have some protection, though. It's still not going to protect me if I reach in there and grab hold of a snake. So. absolutely hot here in Texas. It is 100 degrees today, so I had to go take a break and come back, and um, at least in the shade, it's, it's pretty. I'm going to take you with me for this last load here, and we will get finished. <sighs> yeah. Pick up one more little, well, I need a little, one more big one to put on there. So what I did was, I need to mow over there. I just walked through it and made sure that I got as many of the big stuff as I can up so that I can run back over it with mower and make it look all pretty down here. So we'll see how that turns out. Hi. That hurt. Derp. Ugh. Hazards of being a farmer. I'm turning around. Filled with 100 degree temperatures. Went trade it for the world. Love it. All right, let's go. Here we go. That looks pretty big. I think I can do it. Just gotta go slow. Yeah, there's two huge ones down there. But I say, if you try to pick up that as far down as you can, and then I'll go down far, and we'll try to move it all over. See if we can do it. I don't know. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Attempt. Look, see, there's a big old stump. That ain't going nowhere soon, too. See if we can do it. We need a, a man's strength for it. Anybody know where we can find a man? On the farm. <laughs> Got it. Hey, I'll hold it. I don't know if it'll go through it. Oh, I think you did. Nope. It's Yeah, there you go. Cut it up there further. Ah, yay! Look at us! Cut that one's not. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today here, and I hope that you enjoyed the film. We'll see you next time on the farm.